I've just received this box from the virtual doll convention or VDC. It's going to be really cool to open it because it's actually been quite a while since I've had a parcel from the VDC. What with the shipping fees to Australia, I do find that it gets a little bit expensive when you're only buying one thing. So it was really fun to find that the mystery boxes this time went on sale and I could grab a couple um, and really combine the shipping. I found in the past that often I haven't been able to get the mystery boxes because they go on sale um, in the middle of the night for Australians so it can be really hard to get them shipped over here um, so this time it was great I ordered three so in here I'm hoping to find um, two mystery boxes that are for Grace and one mystery box that is for Alwyn. I do um, like and collect both dolls but I decided to go for two for Grace and one for Alwyn because the Alwyn one said that they all came with a wig and although the wigs are really fun and I can actually see it right there um, I do generally prefer dolls that um, don't have wigs that have rooted hair so that was why I went um, for ones that didn't necessarily come with a wig I can see this one oh um, that's a nice blue color um, and I've got three here so I'm guessing this is probably the one for Alwyn because the wig looks a little bit bigger and these two here are probably for gray so now let's open everything up and have a look at what we've got So I've arranged everything I received in piles here um, to organize it and to show what there is. There are a few double ups, which is no great surprise when you buy multiple boxes, but that's okay because I'll hopefully be able to sell some of those double ups. Um, so over here, I've got um, bags, other sort of mixed accessories and stuff that's not for dolls, clothing, and then I've got the two wigs there. Uh, these two items here, so this bag and um, the clear shoes, I did add in separately. I paid for them separately because I just thought they'd be fun accessories um, for a doll that is traveling and we'll be able to try them on um, Grace a little bit later. Uh, I've already got one a little bit like this. I think that's really just an add-in but they are cute. They go with um, a few outfits and I don't think I've got the yellow one yet. I'm pleased I got these two bags. They're both really fun and I had looked at them both in the store and thought they'd be nice to have. So this is a dots bag um, and this is the record bag which I know um, it's for sale for actually like $25, $30 or something. And that's really cool. I think that will go with a, a lot of items. Um, over here, I got a pink poodle. That's good because I've already got a white one. So um, I didn't have a pink one yet. A few other mixed accessories. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it will be like a, a scarf or something. These are marked as free gift. Um, I'll find out whether they're for a doll. Maybe a little belt for a doll. It's actually quite cute looking, but I'm not quite sure what they are yet. Um, I know Rachel's always putting in items for, um, you know, for you as a human. And so there's a few here. So some stickers. I might give them to my kids and see if they want to stick them somewhere. Um, some earrings um, and a key ring. Um, just little fun additions. Over in the clothing, I got a couple of the Best Friends t-shirts. I'm guessing that I um, got one from an Alloin box and one from a Grace box. So doubles, I think. Oh, no, they're not quite the same, actually. There's um, Nima and Alloin, and um, uh, that must be from a, the Alloin box, and that may be from the Grace box. Uh, it's nice that they're all different, actually. I didn't realise um, until I'm looking at them closely. All the boxes came with a set of the stretchy underwear. That's actually quite nice. I think that's they're really nice because it looks like there's a bra and um, underpants in there. Uh, so that's cute. And maybe that one's maybe a little bit different. I'm not sure. So that might have been from the Alloin box. I've got another T-shirt, which is the Club Grace T-shirt. Um, that can go with the other t-shirts there. This looks like a nice little set. Um, 
that includes a skirt and a t-shirt in there. I do already have um, the yellow lemonade dress, but it is a nice one. Uh, so I'll decide whether I keep one long and one short or whether I sell one and keep the other. I didn't have the 50s dress yet. That'll go nicely with the record um, purse. They probably came in the same box match together. Um, I don't yet have any of um, these magic pants, I think Rachel calls them. Um, they're red color, maybe a nice Christmassy one. And then two wigs. One's for Grace. That looks maybe like the Space Buns design, but in purple. I like that because I've actually got a blue one and it's really cool, but I don't have a purple one. And then I've got this Ellen wig. I'm actually really hopeful. I nearly bought this exact wig. Um, so I'm hoping it is the one I think it is and I'll try it on an Elowen later because I nearly put that one in my basket um, to buy it separately. So how about we see how these all look on a doll. All the underwear looks to be exactly the same. Um, there are a few things I'm impressed by, which is particularly the pattern placement. I love how the butterfly is right in the center on all of the bralettes. Um, it's also pretty easy to get on because everything's really nicely elasticized. To be honest, it's a tad loose on Alwyn and I don't think it's quite right for her, although it is cute. And then on Grace, it looks really nicely fitted, um, goes on really well, except that her soft, um, little piece here is actually really hard to slide elastic pieces over and you would have seen it catch a fair bit as I put it on um, but overall it looks pretty nice on both of them.
all in all, this was a super fun box because there are just so many different little pieces to open. Um, and I love how you can make some really nice coordinating outfits like this belt, even though it was meant to be um, a free gift. I actually think it goes really nicely with this outfit. Um, and likewise, the uh, I wouldn't have chosen a fur muff. I don't think they're very easy to display, but it's really nice how it goes with the um, the magic pants that are red and so they coordinate. I hoped the belt would coordinate with that as well, but it doesn't look great on the T-shirt, but it's still a fun um, coordinating colour. I also like how there are so many different purses so you can mix and match between everything. Interestingly, not all my pieces that I thought would be my favourites I actually think looked the best on. For example, I think the Dots purse actually looks looked nicer when Grace had it than the record purse. Um, the record purse is a cool idea, but maybe it's just a tiny bit too big um, to really quite work. I was super excited and still am um, by the Elowen's Gambit wig because it is the one that I was hoping for. I genuinely had that in my shopping cart and then I thought, oh no, the Elowen box comes with a wig and I don't like wigs that much. So I won't buy the Gambit wig and it's the one I ended up with. So I'm really happy about that. I also I think um, this one that I got is really cool. I don't have many um, dolls in that size that take wigs, but I do have a few and I think it looks really nice on Wonder Woman. Um, as well. There are some downsides that I guess some small disappointments. Um, so I'm sorry to have got so many t-shirts and so many of the underwear sets because although they're nice, actually I'm surprised by just how nice the t-shirt looks. I think it looked better without the belt, but it looks really nice. But at the same time, they're all kind of the same. A white t-shirt looks nice on a doll, but you know, they, you can only have so many on. Um, same with the underwear. It looked nice on Grace, but it didn't look great on Elowen. And because they're all the same, um, it just makes it a bit less exciting. Uh, the other thing is that everything that has to pull on for Grace is really hard to get on over um, that rubbery bottom. I do wonder if maybe that's something um, Robert Tonner will change with the new one. Um, and I, I think I kind of hope so, because although it, it has you know a nicer feel uh, it is really hard to dress her so I was really pleased um, with the dresses being actually very very easy to get on my favorite outfit for Grace um, is probably the lemon yellow one but I do actually love what she's in now um, I think that's really fun and I left Elowen in this one because it's the only one um, other than the t-shirts that I know is made for um, Elowen Wild but also as soon as I put her in there I thought she looked fantastic um, I'm also pleased that the shoes, I only bought one pair of shoes, um, but I'm pleased that they're interchangeable between both dolls' feet, although I will say they were really hard to get on, a really tight squeeze on either, and I guess I'm worried that in the future the plastic might give out. Overall, really fun, um, very much worth the price for the discount box, especially when I could get three at once. So the international postage was not so bad, um, but I would say that I... I don't know that I'll order any more than I am now from the virtual doll convention, not because it isn't fantastic. I think it's really good. Um, but with the cost of international shipping, um, you really want to be able to get a few things at once. So maybe if you're ordering the box, see about getting add-ons and things because it all just makes it that much more worthwhile.